Welcome to Majula, the town inning. You're gonna start walking this way. The first thing you're gonna notice is you got this little thing. Let's pick that up. Okay. And then, since I got a lot of time to burn, I'm gonna go this way. So we're basically just gonna do Majula. Majula and the surrounding wiggle waggles. Legally waggles. So you come this way. Come up this tower. Talk to this guy. Have you business with me? The way you under is all blocked up, you see. By this god office statue. Heavens above. Who thought it a good idea to pit it there? I know, right? Selfish. I'm in Selfish quite the pickle now. See that statue? Gives me the willies. Yeah. You stare at it for long enough, it starts to look alive. Ah, it just doesn't seem quite right. There are no craftsmen around these parts. Nope. Hey, you don't think a real live person was turned to stone, do you? No way. I think he See repeats. That statue? Yeah. Ah, hey. I got four life gems. Okay. Let's go, buddy. We have a form affectionately named these guys testicle monsters. Testicle monsters are weak to penetration. I'm gonna burn a uh, life gem. That's really weird. Okay. First time I ever came in here, I rolled into this barrel and it exploded. And then there's doors up top here. They all started coming down after me. There's more of those testicle guys. Statue. Hello, statue blocks your way. No, oh, did I get everything? Hmm. I wonder if there's a way to. Can't make a lot of noise, I guess. You get to attack Ben Hart, get maybe his sword. But it's his armor that's hard to get. So basically you just run back. That's a pathway out of the town. One of... Four? I want to say four. Yeah, four pathways for four bosses for the four old ones. Okay. And then you want to come to this specific spot with the two holes in the rock. Walk very slowly. Mmm. Behold. Nope. Be a good spot for. Okay. Yep. Bah, bah. Nothing. We'll try to, like, look at the stuff that I'm picking up. One big go here. And I'll throw things in the. Whatever. So. I'm gonna talk to her last come over here to this edge which is to the side of the blacksmith thing it's locked wasn't trying to you? do that oh it doesn't matter just help me open this door I packed my tools in here seeing it was vacant but now somebody's gone and locked the door I'm a blacksmith I'm nothing without my tools Bring yep. that key. Chop chop. Yep. Okay. Now we're gonna go this way. We do something up there last. Hello there. 
Oh, sorry, I shit. Sorry. Please do have a look at my wares. I could really use the business. If you'd be so kind. I came from the west, from Volgan. Have you been there? It's a lively place, vibrant with trade. Very competitive, of course. And you have to grease the wheels to get anywhere. But I didn't have the funding for that, so I left home in hopes of striking gold. It's been... I don't even know why I'm still here. <sighs> Everything's all run down and dying. It's t terrible for business, really. A group calling themselves the Blue Sentinels have gained much power in Volga. You can't even run a shop without their blessing. They claim to be working for the greater good, but it's absolute hogwash. Oh, by the gods, why the hell am I here? Alright. So the people in the town are um, all displaying signs of the curse. They're all moving towards being hollowed. I believe, if I understand it correctly. So basically, you're gonna start doing stuff without knowing why. So you might have had a purpose in the beginning, but you're like, you'll forget it. Okay. Nothing over there, except for an odd looking wall. I'm not gonna walk over here, because these pigs never go up, but there's three little piggies over there. They're hard to hit, and they don't take very much damage. Actually, yeah, we'll do it. Ow. Need to hit one of you. 19. Barely hurt him at all. And then I uh, chase you all the way around like the town. It's okay though. But now we got the Estes shard, so we're gonna come over here. Talk to this thing. Are you Try not to skip any. The next modern. Or merely a pool of fate. Bearer of the curse. I will remain by your side till this frail hope shatters. Take this with you. May it ease your journey. There's a healing item. Go What's on, going on, piggish? He who made Drang Lake what it once was. He who peered at the essence of the soul. King Vendrick. Bearer of the curse, seek misery. For misery will lead you to greater, stronger souls. You will never meet the king with a soul so frail and pallid. This pig wants my blood. Yep! Oh no! Ooh. Ah damn it! Da -na 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 -na. Come here! I can hit all three of them. There's, I can't like hit him with this weapon. It's another thing. should go back to where they Okay. So now I can continue what I was doing. Seek those whose names are unutterable. The four endowed with immense souls. Their souls will serve as beacons. Once you have found them, return here to me. So that hope will not fade away. Is that a shard you found? Here, let me see it. So that I may help you. To see light. To see hope. 
however faint it might be. Actually, upgrade Estrin Flash. Probably said this already. Estrin Flash heals you. I always check. I'll be back later. Oh, actually. Bearer of the curse. Seek souls. Larger, more powerful souls. Seek the king. That is the only way. Lest this land swallow you whole, as it has so many others. Over the hill and past the forest is the king's castle. Where a man peered straight into the essence of the soul. But whatever came of it. I think it's that way up there. Those who come to Drang Lake seeking salvation that soon tower. lose hope and turn hollow. It happens to them all, sooner or later. That blue knight at the base of the tower, his spirit is already broken. Although he does offer sound advice. Perhaps he is a foreshadowing of your own future. Perhaps. That tiny thing inside the ruins. An ancient being that will mock your very existence. It's a cat. She imparts sound wisdom. Provided you find her on a good day. The sign you bear will drain your very souls. And without souls, you will turn hollow. Stay strong. Do not lose hope. Even when you have precious little time. Okay. For when the undead dies, it is never truly dead. But only one step closer to hollowing. Not all undead are hollows. But all hollows were once undead. Gotcha. If you find an Estus shard, Bring it to me, so that I may ease your burden. Over the hill and path where a man but what a those who come to Drang Lake seeking salvation soon lose hope and turn hollow. It happens to them all, sooner or later. Ah. That blue knight at the base, although he doesn't. She probably said that already. I wasn't paying attention. This guy! That's, if I was online, it'd give me a really neat number. I don't know what this is. Maybe a new game? Alright, off in the distance there. I think that is the Belfry. Or not the Belfry. Um. Oh, I forget. You take a boat there later. Probably notice. Out there. I don't know. Let's talk, guy. You're undead, aren't you? You talk so slow! You have that distinct scent. The smell of irreversible fate. This is Majula. <sighs> it is a kind of settlement. A place where life is almost normal. And in Drang Lake these days, there are very few places like that. I am Solden. And like you, I lost everything. <gasps> and now I'm here. The underground. You probably heard that it was possible to break the curse, dear. Well, that's not true at all. There's nothing here for you, me, or anybody. Do you know much about souls? Even I'm not certain, but... I'm told that the soul is the essence of life itself. Anything living, sentient or no, supposedly has one. What we call the curse is traceable to the soul. Do you see what that means? To be alive... To walk this earth. That's the real curse, right there. We undead will never die. And that's quite a predicament, really. There are four beings in this. 
this land with giant souls. And wherever you go from here, you will sooner or later come up against them. Each has a powerful soul and a terrible curse. If that frightens you, then you ought to just give up right now. Like I have. <laughs> I hate this guy. Do you ever cry out for help? The journey of an undead is long and treacherous. You'll face invaders from other worlds at every turn. If you need help, why not proclaim faith in the Blue Sentinels? When you face danger, the Blue Sentinels will come to your aid. Protection is yours, if you wish. You need only accept their kind embrace. <sighs> okay. For now. That is a wise decision. Mm -hmm. People are weak. But the Blue Sentinels watch over us in their benevolence. Let the Sentinels cradle you in their embrace. Ugh. Do you feel lonely here? Yeah? Does it mean just fine? Hey. I have nothing left anyway. Talking to you! It will go on in this place. Give it some time. I hate talking to this guy. Uh, welcome. Oops. Do you see the way beyond the bonfire? That will take you to the forest of the giants. There was once some great fort. Little of it remains. You may just find something there. That will be of use on your journey. Okay. But don't venture too far inside, or you might not come back. Hade's Tower of Flame lies beyond the far gate. In the cathedral, the Apostles of Blue gather. It's over there, so. But the road leading there is perilous. The gate is rigged with some contraption. But how it works, I, guess it's fine. I just don't know. Yeah. Have you seen that pit, that gaping hole in the earth? I don't know what it's like down below, but I wouldn't suggest trying to find out. Besides, you will never make it down there. Without a ladder of some sort. That's a lie. The flame you see there is a bonfire. They exist all across the land, beacons to we undead. If you are tired, try resting beside the flame. The flame heals us. Okay. Long ago. A woman called a fire keeper watched over each bonfire. She kept the flame lit and guarded it from those who would extinguish it. I wonder where the fire keepers went. Oh man, they could have had a fire Did keeper you boss. Any letters on the ground on the way here? Nope. These are messages that have jumped the fissures between worlds. In Drang Lake, the flow of time is convoluted. Things shift and waver, twist and turn. Poignant wishes, dashed dreams, the messages convey our very inner thoughts. If your will to soldier on falters, try leaving a message. Somebody out there is sure to listen. Uh-huh. 
But you may notice symbols that appear ah. on the ground. These don't you repeat yourself one more time. You see the way beyond the book. Okay. You may, but don't I hate talking to you. I really hate talking to that guy. He like eats my soul every time. Your <sighs> floor. He was talking about this pit. You can jump down there, but not now. Don't have enough life. I'll die as soon as I hit the board. Oh, I'm dead, are we? Dead, are we? And one without much time remaining. Oh. Just about ready to fall apart, I'd say. Not exactly the time to be chatting with a cat. <laughs> This ring to jump down there. Wow. Hmm. -da 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 -da. These are things. I end up getting a couple of those. place is already dead. Everything will crumble and waste away so that something new may be born. Isn't it wonderful? <laughs> this place is fascinating. We receive only the most peculiar visitors. Folk like yourself. It's enough to keep even a cat amused. <laughs> Ones. Those four who have grown so incredibly ancient. They must have sprouted quite a thick coat of moss by now. For heaven's sake, no one even knows their names anymore. Imagine that. <laughs> yes, nothing like yourself. For you have a most pleasant scent that grows nicer with each passing day. <laughs> have you made friends with the man? I hate that guy. <gasps> He's lost everything. Absolutely everything. <laughs> the only thing he's good for now is a few tidbits on covenants. Covenants are a type of, well, contract, you might say. You give something to gain something. That's the way humans like it, right? It might be just the thing you need. But what does a cat know? <laughs> what does a cat know? Do you see that oddly formed rock behind here? Long ago, they called it Victor Stone, as I recall. If you wish to face greater challenges, speak to the rock. Okay. Well, you'd just as well not. <laughs> this place is already dead. Everything isn't. Alright. Nothing's. Well, that's dismay. So oh, she's talking about this rock over here. And what this does is it makes the enemies take about 20% less damage and makes them do up to 50% more damage, makes them attack differently and simultaneously. So, but 
some enemies will drop awe stones, and I'm interested in getting the awe stones because there's a cool item for it. So we're going to be doing that. Um, I will be doing all the summons for the boss fights, so like Bukatil and Fate and Benhart. I'm going to be doing all those. So I'll have to turn off that every so often. Um, so I don't think I get a real bonus besides Awestones. And then, just for the sake of... I got a couple minutes left, I think. I'm going to go do this. There's an item over here that might be useful. I think it's a shield. This is not actually the way that we're going. I think I've done everything. Crimson Parma. Oh. St stuff is still trouble loading. There you go. There's a hook up there to get the door open from this side, because it'll close. Broken Thief Sword. And then behold! There's a white knight here. There's a white knight there, and there's white knights every fucking where. Oh, and Cyrus pointed something out to me. That was neat. Maybe. Yeah, you can see the fire from the hallway down in the water. See it down there? So that's kind of neat. Teleport! What have you done? Alright, so we're back in town here. This is Madrula. I mean, come walk out here. It's an interesting statue. Do I know where that is? Doesn't matter. Anyway, so this has been Madrula. Uh, basically, I'll try to cut this, but this in front here. But I went around and talked to everybody. It's like a half an hour of nothing. And uh, if I do die, I'm probably just going to restart a game just like this, but not do this part again. So, here is your temporary blah 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 whatever. Have a nice day!